Hi friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about unions in C program. Unions are quite similar to the structures in C. Unions can be defined in the same manner as structures, just the keyword change that is stuck to union. This is an example which has two variables, okay, union car, name and price. So how do I access uh, the members of the the members of the union? It is similar to structure, you can use dot and access the member. And if it's a pointer, you have to use arrow mark. What is the difference between union and structure? Let me show you a simple example. So the main difference is the way the memory allocated for the union and the struct. For the union, the largest element will be take will be considered for the memory allocation. For uh, for structure, it will be like sum of memory size of all the members. In this case, it will be forty bytes and here in this case in the union case it will be 32 bytes because it will consider the largest element within the union okay so this is one of the uh, difference so let me show you the program so i have a union a structure so i'm going to print the size of union and the structure you can see the difference actually so here i'm executing say the size of size of union is 32 and 40 because in union it considered only the largest element within the union okay but here structure it will it will sum all the members size of the all the members in the structure okay so this is one of the difference and uh, okay how do i create a union and how do i access it okay and how it will work in the uh, with, the, with the sample program I, i'm going to explain to you so here there is one more example union job there are three members okay so i'm going to get a name from the user from the terminal then I'm going to get the salary so what will happen is when I get the name it will be stored in the union okay yeah, that memory a lot allocated memory okay then when I enter the salary what will happen the others others will be filled with garbage value except so what will happen is the latest uh, the latest value that you feed into the union will be will be uh, uh, existing the other other values will be a garbage one so let me run the uh, program so you can understand so here uh, so this is the example so it's asking for the name I'm going to give a name test so it's asking for the salary so you can see here what happened here is I gave the name it's stored in the union memory allotted memory okay then I gave the salary then what happened so salary so at, at any point of time only one va value will be stored in the union okay that's the character characteristics of union so only one uh, value will be stored and others will be stored with the garbage value so you can see I gave test and now it is filled with a garbage value because the latest value I gave for salary it is existing now okay I gave just brief information about union. Thank you and all the best.